Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro. I have to make uh, a bit of an uh, admission here. I'm a bit hooked on this game. I've been uh, recording way too many sessions of this because I'm just really, really into it. Because uh, at the moment of me recording this, only episode one has been released so far. So, uh, and this is supposed to be episode six, I think, if I recall correctly. So, we're at the castle gate. So. With that in mind, that means that this is Ashina Castle itself. So we're starting our infiltration in stride. Look, a smoke signal from the Great Castle Gate. Is it Lord Yobu? Yes, that's definitely Yobu the Demon. Ashina is safe so long as that man guards her doors. Okay, Yobu the Demon with a smoke signal at the gate. So that's not actually that far off. I could actually even just bypass all these guys. Um, but let's find a way to enter here. If I'm able to get uh, hmm, a drop attack on that big guy, that would be nice. He's actually crying, so that is weird. But uh, let's put him out of his misery. There we go. That kills him immediately, I think. There we go. Then I think that guy is a gunner as well. So I'm just gonna pass him. And backstab this guy. And then jump up here. And kill this gunner. And there we go, another deflect. And kill the spear guy. And there we go, courtyard cleared in one fell swoop. I'm getting the hang of this. More sugar, more sugar. These these ninja guys, Shinobi, are really uh Yeah, really hooked on sugar, aren't they? So there we go, more items, and we get another Mibu possession balloon. So that gives us more uh skill point experience, I think, for killing enemies. Now Ceramic shards, and another Mibo balloon of wealth, and a heavy coin purse. Ooh, that is, that is nice. And then we have a little hole in the wall that we can use to traverse further. Now, the first thing I want to do is, once I was up there, I saw on the left, there was like something or someone kneeling next to a tree. And there was an item over there as well. So let's just slowly move over here. Yeah. Oh, All it took was a bit of gunpowder. He startled me. And now he's dead. Oh, <laughs> Is that guy an enemy? He is. I don't... Why do I... No. So the horse... Was afraid of the gunpowder. And then... Oh, We really need to kill this guy. <laughs> I do apparently. Let's get the item and the horse. Did it just die because of the a little bit of gunpowder? Is that a hint of some kind that beasts don't like gunpowder animals? Who knows? Maybe let's get this. More pallets. Always more pallets. And then I might just be able to... Yeah, let's just kill this guy like that. Stab him in the face. And that seems to be... It's for this area as well, but there was a memory over here, a vision. So that seems to be Kuro and is that General Genichiro? We managed to drive them back once, but the Interior Ministry's army is far too powerful. And that is why you wish to use the power of my blood. It doesn't matter how much power you obtain. You'll keep on fighting until you're a monster, incapable of feeling pain or fear. I do not wish to corrupt the lives of men. Look at this mountain of bodies. Ashina cannot be defended by normal means. Not me. I could never be as strong as you, Lord Genichiro. I do not yet know what it is I should do. It has been a long time since that happened. Wait all you like. It'll do you no good. Okay. So they had some kind of hmm, relationship as well. Oh, and we have, oh, yeah. 
I know what he's talking about with the mountain of bodies. There's a lot of bodies over here. So that might have been a recent memory because these bodies don't look decayed at all. Those are the guys that I killed. Okay. So with those guys cleared out, I think I have a staircase over here that might give us a way inside of the castle or it might be a shortcut of some kind. So let's see. So it, it is a door that I can interact with, but it does not open from this side. So, as I said, possible shortcut. Now, I can actually get up there as well. So I'm going to take a look from higher up. Oh. This looks like a battlefield but also seems like a battlefield I don't want to interact with too much hmm a large open area so the smoke signal that was a smoke signal 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 the smoke signal that uh, those guys were talking about and Jubu the demon is defending the gates the gates being that there on the left? Is that the gate? Probably. I don't see anybody defending it, however. Hmm. And these... Yeah, this wall is too high. Once I drop off, that's it. That's gonna be it. There's a whole mountain of bodies over here as well. It doesn't seem to be much more than this, however. So let's... Let's try and drop down then. Okay. Seems to be quiet for now. Just crawling across the bodies here. Is this something that I can interact with? Doesn't seem like it. No, it's boarded up. Can't do anything with that. And it's eerie silent as well, aside from that one crow. Just making a little bit of noise. But how am I gonna... Do this? Lots of dead horses as well. And I feel like that hint from that guy mourning his own horse. Was something we'll have to deal with. Um, anything here? Because we know they want to hide things in the cliffs. Uh-oh. Does he know where I am? Oh god, he knows. He knows where I am. Oh great. Now what? Ow. Jesus. Ow, ow, and I'm dead. Okay, he's really aggressive. Um, oh. Okay, there we go, we staggered him somehow. And there we go. There we go, deflected that. And I think I got him at least once. There we go. And there we go, in the face. Let's just heal up right in front of the horse. There we go. Ow. Okay, one more heal. Woo. Ooh. Oh god. He's staggered. Okay. Oh, just going back a bit. I did still have pallets. No, I haven't equipped them. Ah, we're dead again. But, 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 I still have one resurrection. Oh, grappling hook. Oh, 
Where is he going? And there we go. Stab! And again. There we go. Ooh. Woo! Wow, okay. That was on the first try and the horse didn't actually die. Ooh. Memory, Gyobu Oniwa. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe. Uh, Gyobu Masatake in Oniwa was keeper of the Ashina Castle Gates. And then the mechanical barrel, a mechanical metal barrel that can be given to the sculptor to enable prosthetic tool upgrades. It appears to have been made to fit perfectly inside the wrist bone of the shinobi prosthetic. A reinforced core is sure to make a shinobi's fangs even sharper. Ooh. Prosthetic tool upgrades. By giving the mechanical barrel to the sculptor, upgraded prosthetic tools can be created. You can quickly return to the sculptor via the travel option at a sculptor's idol. Okay, we know that. That was... I think we just one shot at a boss fight. Um, and I didn't even have my... I get my, get, got my resurrection back as well. I'm just going to equip the pallets and take at least one. Because I don't know if I can actually return back up here. Don't think I can. So we beat up a man on a horse without actually killing the horse. Because I felt like the fireworks hint, the gunpowder hint from before was uh, something we would need in this boss fight. But apparently not. And we could do it just like that. Oh, and there's a sculptor's idol right here. All right here. So let's just check that out first. And then I think with the memory we can actually enhance our attack power, right? Confront memory Gyobu. Let me get more information about that. Gyobu Oniwa lens. Lens? Gyobu Oniwa once led a group of infamous bandits, but was defeated by Ishin, who was so captivated captivated by his show of strength that he took him in as an Ashina warrior. Oniwa would later go on to become Genichiro Ashina's most retrusted retainer. So we get the remnant and we get a boost to our attack power. So we're at three attack power there. Now with three skill points we can also upgrade the... Um, so we can Upgrade our karma, a shinobi's karma body, so we can get more spirit emblems that we can hold at one time. Which is not that bad, I think. Or we could do the vault over. That is also very good, because it also allows the use of backstab that blows in the middle of battle, even without using stealth. On a posture broken enemy, vault over and behind. Okay, let's do the vault over thing. And that's pretty much that, I think, for now. Then, I think we should go back to the sculptor first, so we can get that upgrade to our prosthetic. I mean, that was a proper boss fight. That, I feel weird. That, that just worked in one go. I was... Were those papers all over the place already before? I don't know. Let's check her out. I've been waiting for you. There we go. She might have... Yes. I found some answers. A solution for the, the dragon rot? of the dragon rot is the stagnation in your blood. What causes the stagnation? The blood has only a limited amount of power available to it. Let's say you've used all of this power, and then you attempt to resurrect again. The resurrection still occurs, but it must draw on power from another source. Ah. Oh. Those that have the dragon rot? I believe so. For those who have the dragon rot, the natural life force that everyone has, that allows them to live their lives, and function as human beings has been taken from them. Their blood has stagnated. Can it be cured? Yes, by giving back what has been taken. Here you are. Dragon's Blood Droplet, an item that is rarely dropped by a divine heir of the dragon's heritage. Using it will slightly increase resurrective power. Restore the power of life to those who have been drained of it by offering this drop to the sculptor's idol with the recovery charm in hand. In turn, all afflicted with the dragon rot will be healed. The incessant coughing must cease. And then a recovery charm, created by Emma with this charm, one can offer a dragon's blood droplet at a sculptor's idol to restore all afflicted with dragon rot back to health. The charm contains a dragon rot victim's blood, which Emma managed to purify and solidify into a bloodstone. Okay. 
So Dragon World Restoration. The recovery charm allows Dragon World sufferers to be healed from a sculptor's idol. A dragon's blood droplet can be consumed to heal Dragon World from all those afflicted. Doing so will cause all world essence to disappear, returning the chances of un receiving unseen aid to the default value. So, but we needed to do that at a sculptor's idol if I wasn't mistaken. So let's do that now. So there we go. Dragon Rot Restoration is unlocked. And let's do that now. Dragon Rot healed. We get a trophy for that. Would have been nice. But uh, not as far as I can see. Okay. Then we can talk to the sculptor. Maybe he can do more now that he's cured. Because I feel like he can do more with the, the upgrades. Although that might have just unlocked because of the enhanced barrel we just got. Oh, I see you've acquired something quite interesting. A mechanical barrel. It's a mechanism that can serve as the very core of the prosthetic. Hand it here. I'll fit it to the arm for you. What difference does the barrel make? With a versatile base such as this... I can use various purifying agents to further hone that fang of yours. Purifying agents? Purifying agents are materials that can be used together with the barrel. Things like gunpowder and scrap metal. So if you find something of that sort, be sure to bring it my way. Aha, uh -huh, so there we go. So it's unlocked because of the mechanical barrel. Treat to unrefined sake. Uh, do we do that? Because I think we got that from one of the... Yeah, from the drunken guy outside of Lady Butterfly's building. Let's just wait with that. Let's present this prosthetic and upgrade it. Ooh, there's an entire upgrade tree. Prosthetic tool upgrades. In the prosthetic tool upgrade menu, upgrade materials and send can be spent to create upgraded versions of prosthetic tools. To upgrade, one must own the base tool and also complete any prerequisite up upgrades. All the versions of a tool can still be used after upgrading. So we only have one possible upgrade over here, I think, because we need to do this one first, but it's unavailable because I lack one more scrap metal. Okay, and what does the spinning shuriken do? An enhanced shuriken that can be empowered with rotational energy, cause spirit emblems to use, damage in enemies, vitality and posture, and does huge damage to jumping enemies. Taking a moment to further bend the spring and build rotational energy will cause the blade to rotate after landing, damaging the enemy multiple times on hit, similar to a spinning top, but with blades. Ooh. Okay, but we can't do that just yet. Let's give him a drink, let's give him a drink. Here we go. I brought some sake. Don't mind if I do. Bottoms up, my friend. Oh, is it not to your liking? No, it's damn good. And there he goes. There he goes. Bottoms up all the way. But it does make my old wounds ache. Your left arm? Yes, and this sake was a favorite <laughs> of the man who cut it off. Who was? Lord Ishin. Ishin? Why? <laughs> he did it for my sake. Oh, you're sake. And there he goes. Yeah, he's really enjoying this. <sighs> I was on the verge of being consumed. Consumed by what? Shura. Shura? <laughs> well, whether you believe me or not, that's for you to decide. But you do well to beware Shura's shadow. Shura's shadow. He calls us Shura's With a shadow. Barrel. So many possibilities. I can use various purifying agents to further hone that fang of yours. Okay. So if you find something. Yeah, okay. So he lost his. I've never noticed that, but indeed, he lost his left arm as well. There seems to be something mechanical attached to it as well, but. Can't really see that from here. And it was Ishin Ashina himself who cut off his arm. Which makes this even more interesting. So Ishin Ashina was the guy we saw kill that uh, big red samurai at the beginning of the game and the cinematic. And apparently the leader of the Ashina clan. But he seems to be sick as well at the moment. 
So let's take a look at the uh, old lady and the sun as well to see if they've cured as well. Oh, the sun is gone. Inosuke is gone. What about... Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, he's here. He's here. Now I'm wondering if I needed to use the sake on him and not on the sculptor. There he goes. Okay. I saved these people just for them to die. Okay. Not a, not a bright message, but uh, there we have it. Moving on. Okay, so we're back at the castle gate. We can probably open this up. Let's do that first. Then I want to take a look behind us as well. Because I feel like... There's more to this area. So he came from through the gates. But there are more towers, etc. around here as well. And there's a staircase over there that we haven't checked out just yet. And it seems like there's a very colorful person on the sides there. Is that somebody we can talk to? No. He or she is already dead. Looks like a he by the looks of it. Kind of an exotic warrior. Um, can I? Yeah, I can. There's multiples of those just lying around here. What is that all about? What have we happened upon? I don't know if I need to recognize their attire, that bright pink attire. What is this? Oh, there's an NPC here. Hello. Um, feel like you're inside your own tent, buddy. Um, hi? Care to purchase an offering? An offering? Indeed. I sell items to be offered to the dead, so they might rest in peace. From the looks of you, I'd wager you have a lot of blood on your hands. Go ahead. Buy an offering. Hmm, the Battlefield Memorial Mob. And we get a trophy for just talking to the man. Let's... Ooh, we can actually sell items to him as well. And the bundled Jizo statue is actually really expensive to sell. And a heavy coin purse is worth 500 coins. So I'm actually pretty good on coins right now. We can buy another Dragon's Blood droplet from him. Robert's Firecrackers. Firecrackers from across southern seas can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic. Makes a deafening sound, frightening to animals, sold by little Robert and his father to raise funds for their travels. Their voyage brought them to Japan, where they would seek the undying in an attempt to extend Robert's life. And he even sells another gourd seed as well. Gourd seed. Um, 1,500 for both of these together. Which means that if I check when my inventory... You find the departed, you'll find the memorial mark. Okay. Wherever your travels take you. Make sure you bring some offerings. Make sure you bring some offerings. Well, we will, but give me a second. So that's a lot of purses. And then we have one big one, which almost gives us enough to buy both of them. So if I sell Care to purchase an maybe a bit of oil, for how much can I sell the oil? Five each. So I need to sell five of those, which is fine. There we go. Maybe even ash is actually pretty expensive. The rest seems pretty valuable to me. So let's just go into purchase items and purchase both the gourd seed for a thousand and Robert's firecrackers for 500. I know that gives us, that loses all of our money, but at least we spend it on something useful. So I'm still looking to gather up about 3000 to get that upgrade to the shuriken as well. Yes, well, thank you, uh, Memorial Mob Man. If that is your name. Let's check inside of this building then. Because that was really, really interesting. So now I need to... If I want to use that firecracker, I'm going to have to equip that. There seems to be somebody in here at least. Nothing behind the door. Oh, I'm actually putting my sword away. So I suppose this is a friendly assassin? No? Mm, another rat. That's a nice mask. 
But those eyes, a starving wolf. Before I kill you, tell me your name. Tell me your name! Um. <laughs> no name to give. You, Shinobi, are all the same. You die nameless, with no one to mourn you. However, your left arm, a prosthetic Shinobi arm, it reminds me of... <laughs> That's it. A one-armed wolf. I like it. Okay, put the sword away. Sekiro. Sekiro? That is what I shall name you. Oh! Who are you? <laughs> I am the Tengu of Ashina. Come, Sekiro. Care to hunt some rats with me? What? Rats have snuck into Ashina. Scurrying about like they own the place. There are all kinds of rats out there, and they must be cut down. Every last one of them. It seems you have a talent for killing. Allow me to help you hone that talent. What'll it be, Sekiro? Will you hunt rats with me? Uh... He doesn't seem like a friendly man, though. Um... But he did give me a name, so let's accept. Very well. Excellent. You'll need this if you're with me, Sekiro. Sekiro, rat description. A description of the rats that have snuck into Ashina. Speak to the Tengu again once the rats are dealt with. The rats, assassins from Senpu Temple, short stature, wear bamboo hats. A number of rats are lurking about, last seen around Ashina Castle Gate. So we killed one of those at the very beginning underneath the bridge as well. What is this? <laughs> the face of a rat. And where it makes its home. Go and kill it. If you do, I will give you something that will aid you in battle. Okay, fair enough. So, this big man with a fancy mask just gave us our name. Our name is actually Sekiro, which is cool. But that's just the name of the wolf. So, more pallets and a way to open up the castle. Hello. Another old woman. Let's just open this up. I think that loops us back into the courtyard with the guy. Yeah, right next to the guy weeping for his horse on the left there. Yeah. So let's just go in here and talk to this uh, little old lady. I'm hoping she's nicer than the last old lady we talked to. Oh, you survived. That accursed Gyobu's finally a corpse, I take it. Yeah. That changes nothing, you know. There'll be more wars, there'll be more corpses, and deep-seated hatred will run wild. Where's all that hatred go? Haven't you ever wondered? He's really talkative, isn't Guess he? Guess not. Guess you haven't. That's why I pity you. And I pitied him. Okay. Now then, be gone already. There's no end to war, no matter what this old hag says. Your duties will never change either. That's just how it is. Okay, anything else? Now then, there's Okay, your nothing way. else. Nothing else. So what is her purpose? She has the same purple cloth as the other guys that were murdered by, well, this dude. Does he have anything else to say? Go and kill it if you do. Okay, go and kill it. Fair enough. Simple objective, one I can actually follow up on. There's another item over here before we head back out. Uh, more coins. Always more coins. So coins are always... Ooh. This goes up. And up. Just gonna always take a look around to see if there's anything of value around here. Um, and then we can walk around, walk around, walk around. There we go. Grapple onto that. And then we get into the ceiling of this building, I think. Yeah, there's no upper room anymore. And a, a chest. I'm gonna hit the chest first. I've played enough from software games to know that a chest might be a trap. Ooh, that is shiny. Let's pick that up. Another prayer bead. Cool, that's two out of four again. The more of that I can gather, the better. That's a nicely hidden item there. Now we need to drop down without killing myself. So, 
Back down and back outside. So these guys must have been rats to that guy as well because he just murdered the shit out of him. But what else is here? Steep drop over here, although you could probably hang from this, but I don't see another way forward. So the castle gates. Doesn't seem like the gates to the castle itself because the castle seems to be over there. If you have some nice climbing equipment, you probably could reach it from that way. But since we don't, we only have a fancy grappling hook. We're going to have to make do with what we have. So normal soldiers. And it seems to be a sort of high level island in the middle over there. Let's just kill this guy. One gunner. Doesn't seem like that much of a defense. Uh, but I think if I just jump off here... Whoa! I can actually grapple to this place. Sneak again. would want to say this place is use useless, but I know that it never is. So, ah, I can reach that. Would have been able to reach that from another place as well, I suppose. And it just gives me a view on that item. But can I see anything on that piece of land? No, I can't. I skipped a whole bunch now, which I probably shouldn't. And we're in the back of these guys now. Could probably just rampage through this. Uh, and I hear some banging. And there we go. Then this guy is gonna die immediately. And then I think there's a few wolves coming in my direction. If I just go up here and grab to that ledge can probably sneak up behind this guy and drop down on at least one of the wolves. Or maybe on, on, on the guy himself. There dodge the wolf. And there's the final wolf. And there we go. Wolves are actually pretty easy in this game, which is a nice change of pace. Because of course I hate wolves and dogs and anything like that in From Software Games. Because it usually are a pain in the ass, but... Oh! It seems Ishii's illness is indeed grave. Hmm. The land of Ashina will not last much longer. Even with Genichiro on our side. What about our other mission? Black Hat is fighting like a demon by the Serpent Valley side of the castle. Then that's where we're going next. But keep your wits about you. The Black Hat Badger won't go down without a fight. The Black Hat Badger won't go down without a fight. So these guys want to take out somebody else. Which is interesting. But these are the guys, the rats that I needed to take out, right? Oh, there's one right here. Uh, I think that, that was silent. That was one. And maybe... Are they going to spot me if I just get closer? Oh, we actually lose control here. Oh, they're actually blocking with their hats, that's cool. Okay. So that means loaded axe, I Oops. And there we go, break the hats. Black gunpowder. Oh, that's poison, that's poison, that's poison. Okay. Let's just heal up, because I'm really taken aback by these guys. And why doesn't... Ah, okay, there we go. Did they need two hits, or what was that? That was a bit weird. But that's the rats I needed to kill. So if I now go back to that scary-looking dude, I should probably get my reward, right? So there we go. Back to this fellow. Ah, uh, looks like you've caught yourself some rats. Yes. I knew you had a talent for killing. Wonderful. Here's your reward. Take it. Okay, stop yelling. Ashina Esoteric Text, a compendium of the Ashina sword style, allows one to learn Ashina style skills. The text reads like a history of Ishin Ashina's battles when young. Ishina Ishin fought desperately time and time again, polishing his technique in the blood of his enemies. He consolidated his learnings under the Ashina style, name for the sake of his clan's dominance. This is 
The ways of the Ashina Blade. It's our school of fighting. But there are no hard and fast rules. You just win your battles. That alone is the most important rule of the Ashina style. I hope it can be of assistance with your rat hunting. And most of all, your own battles you've yet to fight. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, so no extra dialogue there, so let's head back to through the gate. Oh, through the next gate we actually get another gunner. Just gonna go back a bit, because yeah, there's somebody coming. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. And there we go. Simple deflect takes care of this guy. And that's basically the fight there. So it's that guy just banging on the ground, is it? I think if I can actually get... Okay, he's just smacking the ground for no reason. There we go. And there's another one. There we go. That's just gonna help us through this ne guy's next attack. Oh! Just gonna heal up. Just deflect. Ah, he actually gets a few punches in there. So he's going mental again. That gives me a few ways of getting through his bullshit. And there we go. Take him down. No biggie, no biggie, okay. So we're seeing a lot of the same enemies for now, which is fine. And we're getting a bit more coin. I'm actually wondering if I, if I need to use one of those Mebo balloons or not. Because I've been just hoarding those and I'm not actually using any of them. Ah, scrap iron, there we go. So now we can actually buy that first upgrade. Well, that seems like a battlefield. Is that the battlefield where we fought, fought Genichiro the first time? It looks like it. Then, across the gate... We see just two normal dudes, but we can't even strong. Really planning to use that thing in the battle? I know, I know. But what choice do we have? Desperate times call for desperate measures. We're in no position to worry about what others might think. Yes, but hey, keep it together, soldier. Keep talking like that, and they'll put you on its detail. And when it's mad, it doesn't discriminate between friend or foe. Okay, that sounds like there's something big on the other side of that door. Uh, so let's just jump on this guy and take out the gunner immediately. There we go. We can't really block a sword with a gun apparently. Now, doesn't seem like there's an easy way over that. But we can get in here, in this building. With no enemies. But another light coin purse, so uh, that's 100 coins right there again. There seems to be another spirit emblem over here. I can't actually forget about the item. Yeah, let's go check that out. The item on the other side of this... Uh, I think what it was this ledge. So over here, there's the other item you could see. And it's just more sugar. Great. That was completely useless. But thanks. So through the gate... There seems to be, yeah, Ashina Castle himself itself. So there seems to be one dude over there. And two dudes talking over there. That was not a fancy stealth attack, but still. There we go. Can we eavesdrop in on that conversation? Because they've been talking about the beasts or something that doesn't discriminate between friend or foe. Oh no. Oh, whatever it was, there it is. Oh god. Oh no! Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! What is that?
Jesus Christ, a blazing bull! Ow! Jesus! I can actually jump over it, I think. I'm actually stuck here. But this seems to be working. Okay. Ow, now it hit me. Oh no, it hit me multiple times. Okay, but I have a resurrection available if I want to. I'm just gonna run around a bit. Just st sticking to the sides of it. Is that an attack or is it dying? There we go. Ooh, in the neck. Eye blazing bull. That's our... That was a mini boss probably. But okay, another prayer read. And we got the upgrade for the Shinobi Medicine rank as well. Okay. There we go. And that's the gate opening for some reason. Oh god. Um, just gonna heal that off. Is that a gunner in the back there? What's this guy doing? Fuck off, dude. I just bought a, a bull that was on fire. Get out of here. So, we're back at pallets again, and I feel like we're far enough ahead that I don't want to back off now. Oh, yeah, there's a sculptor's idol in the back there. Fair enough. So, a blazing bull. That was a cool fight. But it seemed a bit simple, because you could still run around it, because you're really nimble as a uh, Sekiro. So, uh, fair enough. Ooh, there seems to be quite a few areas over here. Oh, and a woman. Let's talk another old woman. This game loves the old woman. Thank heavens. Thank heavens. For what do you pray? Oh, you there. Have you heard of the Senpo Temple? The Senpo Temple on Mount Kongo. A very special holy person lives in that place. Go on, join me in prayer. Thank heavens. Thank heavens. Look at her hands being all rough from just doing that over and over again. But Senpo Temple, aren't those the... Assassin monks that are gonna try and kill me. Okay, a holy person, a special holy person lives there. Fair enough. And she's pointing in that direction. Uh, but on Congo Mountain. It seems to be a castle. This is the castle. No? So, before we head into the castle, I'm gonna go back to the sculptor. Because I think he can upgrade our stuff now. So, don't forget, we have another gourd seed. The sculptor's dragon rod has been cured. Yes. Please, give this to him. Okay. Ash Ashina Sake, a bottle of Ashina Sake given by Emma. Sake is a drink meant for sharing. While it does not contain water from the fountainhead, it is made from the purest of waters and is a drink beloved by the people of Ashina. What is it? <laughs> it's his favorite tea. I thought it would be a fitting way to celebrate his return to health. So we gave him one already. But I think it was tainted, right? So the the unpurified, the un uh, unrefined sake, what it was. But maybe each one gives him a different memory. So let's give it a gourd seed and increase that. So now we can drink four. We can actually give the drink to her as well. I brought sake. That is unexpected. Did we not mean to celebrate the sculptor's return to health? Please share it with him. Ah, okay. So you can actually do it. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Emma. Let's give it to him then again. He's gonna be drunk off his ass. It appears as though your old memories have been awakened. Yes. I saw... the divine heir. <laughs> I see. I won't say any more, and neither should you. All that you saw was yours alone. Hmm. Ask what the Buddha showed him. 
Sculptor, what did that Buddha show you? Were you listening? Tell me. Flames. Flames. That is all I can see. It doesn't matter what offering I make. Flames spreading as far as the eye can see and consuming Ashina. That's... We're done here. Okay. So let's give him a drink. I brought some tea. Mm, this tea smells pretty good. Suppose I'll have some. There he goes in his tiny tray again. Oh, I needed that. This tea reminds me of Emma's father. About Lady Emma's father? Dogen. He was an extraordinary doctor. He was also very well versed in mechanisms and devices. Better put, he was obsessed with mechanisms to the point that it affected his health. It didn't take much else seriously, but I owed him my life. Uh, and we could say that you owe him your life as well. What do you mean? When I lost my left arm, Dogen created that thing, which has now become your left arm. The first version was a complete failure, didn't work at all. So he remade it. Then he remade it again and again countless times. <laughs> what? He told me I needed to practice with the prosthetic in order to use it properly. So Emma would pester me into carving her spinning tops and other toys. After much training of that sort, it came to be called a shinobi fang. In other words, that prosthetic arm is Dogen's legacy. His legacy? Oh, so much time has passed. While I have abandoned my shinobi ways, that alone I could not bear to abandon. So, Dogen is not only Emma's master, but also her father. And the prosthetic that we're wearing is actually his creation and not the sculptor's, who was its previous owner, just like that. Interesting. So each bit of sake gives us a bit more background information, which is cool. Then, let's upgrade the prosthetic tool with the spinning shuriken. I don't know if it actually increases the damage of the shuriken on its own. But at least it gets us further down the upgrade tree. So the tree information is now unlocked. So we don't have that, but we do have the spring load axe upgrade. Reinforced with a spring mechanism, the strength of the loaded axe lies in its heft. The weight allows one to shrug off incoming attacks and can easily turn a wooden shield into splinters. Storing and releasing energy in the spring mechanism allows for large sweeping attacks despite its weight. And we need five pieces of iron to even just do that. Um, with that done, I think we can also fit a new prosthetic, so the Shinobi Firecracker. So it actually changes from the firecrackers itself. Unleashes an explosive flash that briefly blinds foes and inflicts posture damage on these types enemies. Has a wide front with field of effect that can impact multiple foes, foes at once. Suitable for temporarily immobilizing enemies and is particularly good for scaring beasts. So I think if we equip the... We can just create it and then equip it in the menu, right? Yeah, okay, we don't need to do that right here. So let's just fit it so we can equip it later on. Because we might need it in a boss battle or something like that. Um, so that was a lot of revelation. We had a few boss fights in this episode as well. So I think we're done for today. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I'd like to see you guys all back in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Goodbye. Yeah,